Yes, it's the bird. <laughs> My students hate this bird. It's because I torture them with it. I use it for a lot of examples within the classroom. I don't know why. You know, someday I, I probably upgrade from a different bird. But I, I just love seeing the fear in their eyes every time they see it. They're like, oh, God, that stupid bird. Now that Adobe Illustrator CS4 is out, I want to kind of go over a different way of ripping down color. It's almost the same way as CS3, I mean, really. But we're going to look at this in a much different fashion. So here's the application for people that are online. The bird needs to go on a t-shirt, and I'm only allowed two colors. I need color that traps well. The problem with Adobe Illustrator's uh, live trace feature is it'll just live trace color next to each other. So I have to figure out a way around that. That's my puzzle, and that's what I'm going to teach you. All right, so this actual series right here, I mean, this is going to take a couple videos. I'm going to rip it down to the order of operations. So first, the introduction. And that's what this video is all about, is basically, hey, you can take a multicolored image into Illustrator and do some tricks with it to rip it down to two color. Let's say this has, I can't even count how many colors there are in this. I can count probably 50 colors. So 50 colors down to two colors. That's the challenge, and that's what's coming up.